Exploring the Depths of the Book of Wisdom by Harry B. Joseph Part 24 Welcome back, everyone, to Positive Vortex, your go-to channel for uplifting and enlightening content. In today's installment, we continue our journey through the timeless wisdom of the Book of Wisdom by Harry B. Joseph with Part 24 of our series. We'll be diving deep into Chapters 69 and 70, exploring the profound concepts of As Above So Below, and deciphering what these teachings truly mean. But before we embark on this exploration, I encourage you to catch up on our previous episodes if you haven't already, as each installment builds upon the knowledge of the last. And remember, if you find value in our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. You can also find a link in the description if you'd like to grab a copy of the original book and support Positive Vortex by buying us a coffee. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of wisdom and unlock the secrets of the universe together. Chapters Now, let's delve further into our exploration of the Book of Wisdom. Chapter 69, As Above So Below Chapter 69 delves into the concept of As Above So Below, which is a fundamental principle in many esoteric and spiritual traditions. This principle suggests that there is a correspondence or reflection between the macrocosm, the universe or larger world, and the microcosm, the individual or smaller world. In this chapter, the author draws parallels between different aspects of the macrocosm and microcosm, highlighting the interconnectedness and harmony of the universe. Specifically, the author discusses the correspondence between the 12 zodiac signs, the 12 cranial nerves in the human body, the 12 systems of the body, and the 12 cell salts. The 12 zodiac signs represent different archetypal energies and characteristics that influence life on Earth. Similarly, the 12 cranial nerves are responsible for transmitting sensory and motor information between the brain and various parts of the body, reflecting the complexity and interconnectedness of our nervous system. Furthermore, the human body consists of various systems, such as the circulatory, respiratory, digestive, and nervous systems, each serving specific functions to maintain overall health and balance. These systems can be seen as mirroring the diverse energies and functions represented by the zodiac signs. Additionally, the concept of cell salts refers to the 12 mineral salts that are essential for the proper functioning of the cells and tissues in the human body. Each cell salt corresponds to one of the zodiac signs and is believed to influence specific physiological and psychological aspects of an individual's health and well-being. By recognizing these correspondences, individuals can gain a deeper understanding of themselves and their connection to the universe. They can also use this knowledge to promote balance, harmony, and holistic health in their lives. Overall, Chapter 69 underscores the interconnectedness of all things and emphasizes the importance of recognizing the unity and harmony that exists between the macrocosm and microcosm. This principle invites individuals to explore the profound implications of as above, so below in their quest for spiritual growth and understanding. Various Phenomena Chapter 69 of the Book of Wisdom explores the intricate connections and correspondences present in the universe, highlighting the harmony and unity underlying various phenomena. Here's a detailed exploration of the concepts mentioned. 1. Seven Planets, Chakras, Metals, Days, and Colors, this series of seven symbolizes cosmic harmony and cycles. In many esoteric traditions, each planet corresponds to a specific chakra, metal, day of the week, and color. These associations reflect the interconnectedness of celestial bodies, energy centers in the body, and various aspects of existence. 2. Five elements, spirit, air, water, earth, fire The five elements represent fundamental building blocks of the universe. They are associated with the senses, fingers, toes, and points on the Masonic compass, emphasizing their pervasive presence in both physical and metaphysical realms. 3. Taurus Field the torus is a geometric shape resembling a donut or a sphere with a hole in the center. It symbolizes energy flow and dynamics in the universe. The positive aspect, representing creation and birth, correlates with the concept of the womb or uterus as a stargate, while the negative aspect, associated with manifestation and grounding, is likened to apples or the torus field itself. For G, seventh letter the mention of the seventh letter, G, connects to the symbolism of seven as a number of completion and material manifestation. 
It also ties into the concept of the seven planets and the seven days of the week, emphasizing the significance of this number across different contexts. 5, 0 and 1 binary code. Masculine, Lin, line binary code, consisting of zeros and ones, is symbolic of polarity and duality. The masculine principle is often associated with linear aspects represented by lines. This symbolism underscores the interplay between opposites and the dynamic balance inherent in creation. 6. I. Lighting, neurons, nerves, tree, broccoli, leaf, this sequence illustrates interconnectedness across different levels of existence. The eye, neurons, and nerve symbolize perception and consciousness, while the imagery of the tree, broccoli, and leaf emphasizes growth, vitality, and the interconnectedness of all living things. Overall, these interconnected symbols and concepts reflect the underlying unity and harmony in the universe, inviting individuals to explore the deeper layers of existence and their interconnectedness with the cosmos. Chapter 70, As Above So Below Chapter 70 of the Book of Wisdom delves into the concept of As Above So Below, exploring the fractal nature of the universe and the interconnectedness of various aspects of existence. Here's a detailed exploration of the concepts mentioned. 1. Fractal Universe The concept of a fractal universe suggests that patterns and structures repeat across different scales of existence. This idea mirrors the hermetic principle of correspondence, which asserts that there is harmony and correspondence between the microcosm and the macrocosm. 2. Sperm cell, brain, and spine, liberty cap mushroom, these seemingly disparate elements are interconnected through their fractal nature. The sperm cell, representing the beginning of life, mirrors the structure of the brain and spine, which govern cognition and consciousness. The inclusion of the liberty cap mushroom possibly signifies its role in altered states of consciousness and its connection to the fractal nature of reality. 3. Numerical frequencies. Examples, 396, 528 each numerical frequency corresponds to a specific vibration or energy associated with different aspects of existence. For example, 396 is associated with the root chakra, symbolizing grounding and stability, while 528 is associated with the heart chakra and represents love and healing. For umbilical cord and silver cord, the umbilical cord serves as a physical connection between the mother and fetus during pregnancy, facilitating the exchange of nutrients and information. Similarly, the silver cord is a metaphysical concept representing the connection between the physical body and the astral body during out-of-body experiences and astral projection. This cord allows for the transmission of information and energy between the physical and spiritual realms. 5. Accessing Higher Self Practices such as meditation, astral projection, and magic are mentioned as means to actively access the power of the higher self. By quieting the mind and releasing assumptions, individuals can tap into their spiritual essence and receive guidance, wisdom, and insights from higher dimensions of existence. Overall, Chapter 70 explores the interconnectedness of physical and spiritual realms, highlighting the fractal nature of the universe and the dynamic exchange of energy and information across different levels of existence. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the wisdom of the Book of Wisdom by Harry B. Joseph. We hope you found today's exploration of As Above So Below to insightful and thought-provoking. Be sure to stay tuned for part 25 of our series, where we'll continue to unravel the mysteries within the pages of this timeless book. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. And as always, if you'd like to show your support for Positive Vortex, consider buying us a coffee through the link in the description. Your support helps us continue to bring you uplifting and insightful content. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and embracing the wisdom that surrounds us. See you in part 25.